This is CNN World Report, where we show you how television stations and networks around the globe tell stories from their own perspectives. Radioactive materials are used or produced in a number of industries, and one of the byproducts is radioactive waste. Some is hazardous only a few hours or a few months. Others, though, pose a possible risk for longer than we'll be around. So what to do? Two reports here that examine just that. Check out, you're in a radiation field. This is a radioactive source. It contains cesium-137, a powerful emitter of radiation. Prolonged exposure to it can cause injury or death. Summer 2006, a new campaign to detect lost sources in Georgia. Right here. Lucchetti village in the country's northwest. An IAEA and Georgian team starts its hunt. Unknown to locals, a cesium source is sitting in a box of nuts and bolts next to a family bedroom. An abandoned military complex. A powerful source is found in a pile of dirt on the floor. Georgia was plunged into poverty after the breakup of the Soviet Union. A legacy of its industrial decline was loss of control of radioactive devices, used widely in manufacturing. Experts call them orphan sources. In Georgia and elsewhere, they've caused death and they've scarred lives. But looking for them in this rugged country is as challenging as finding a needle in a hundred haystacks. Nevertheless, since the mid-1990s, as many as 300 radioactive sources have been recovered. Since 1997, the IAEA's work with Georgia has been part of its global effort to improve the security of radioactive sources and nuclear material. Every country in the world has lost sources of radiation. Um, some more than others, and some have been tackling the problem more than others. Georgia's made a huge effort uh, to find their sources, but look at this spectacular country. It's mountainous, it's remote, so it, it's particularly hard to find them here. This report was prepared by the IAEA for UNTV, CNN World Report.